Hi, I'm in the dumpster room and well, this has to be the biggest TV I've ever seen. Look at this thing. I haven't moved it at all yet because it got like a, some sort of, I don't know, is that a, like a bed thing? I don't know. <laughs> On it, this thing is absolutely massive. It has to be busted. It has to be. So, I don't know. Uh, uh, is there a model number on there? Not sure. No, no. Model number stickers right up there. This thing, what is it? Like the 80 inches or something? It is enormous. I'm going to have to try and get this out. Um, yeah, I'll get back to you. And here it is down in the dungeon. I managed to wheel it down here on the flat uh, trolley, barely, because this thing is enormous. Like, that is bigger than my arm reach. Check that out. Like, <laughs> unbelievable. So this is a 2020 vintage uh, 4K 86 inch TV. Now the best I've actually found uh, before is a 65 inch. I'll have to link in uh, the videos for that. And uh, that is still going strong after uh, fixing the uh, controller board in. Now as far as dumpster TVs go, I probably run about a 50-50 uh, chance whether or not they actually uh, work. Sometimes they're absolutely perfect. There's nothing wrong with them. Other times, you know, it's a controller board. It's a, you know, it's a T-Con board. It's a power supply. You know, one of the caps is gone or something like that. So, um, or it's a cracked uh, screen, of course. Now this one, um, I can't, you know, there's nothing obvious in the screen at all, like it hasn't had any large, like it hasn't had like a, a physical impact on the actual screen. There's a lot of, you know, uh, stuff worn off around the, um, the aluminium edges, that was because it was actually flipped on this top side here, it was sitting on this when I found it, so, uh, you know, a bit of paint will uh, fix that if it does actually work. Now it does manage to sit here on its own, because the base is about that wide on it, uh, so it can actually sit here, so I'll see if I can maneuver this thing and show you the back because it is, it is bloody heavy. It's huge and heavy. It's unbelievable. Now, sorry, I don't have a wide enough angle lens on this <laughs> camera. Uh, so anyway, this thing is absolutely enormous. You can see it does actually have uh, mounting holes, of course. Is that like a visa? Uh, standard? Like, is that a standard? I don't know. I'm not used to TVs this big. Um, anyway, it's absolutely enormous. There's the I.O. on it. Uh, it's got the Ethernets and it's got a uh, couple of HDMIs, USBs, and the Opticals and whatnot. And we've got some more, uh, oh, yeah, a couple more HDMIs and a USB in on the side. And the sticker for those playing along at home, there is the uh, model number and date code 2020. So this is not that old. Okay, I had to flip the whole TV end on so that we could uh, really get a look at what is the uh, power connector here. Um, obviously, there's a uh, some sort of like cable clamp thing that goes in here and there's the, there's the PCB and look, that looks Ernie Bernie. We have an Ernie Bernie mark down there so hopefully is that the only problem there's no way that you get that Ernie Bernie mark without does that come out yep look at that look at that oh yeah Ernie Bernie all right something has overloaded the magic smoke has escaped somewhere so before I power this thing up which I'll have to do with like a death lead um, or something just because I don't have one of these don't have one of these uh, uh, cables to plug in, so I can. But I can shove some, uh, you know, some bare wires up the clacker there, and uh, but that's whoa, that's really, that's really flapping around in the breeze. That's dodgy, brothers. Um, yeah, I can get a meter on there and measure that to see if it's uh, see if there's anything there. But anyway, I can see. Look, there's uh, some sort of big mov or varista down there. Um, that looks okay. Looks like it hasn't exploded, but anyway, um, so a big uh, cable clamp here plus big earthen uh, terminal as well, so they would hook the uh, shorter mains uh, cable onto there, so that if you accidentally pull on the lead, it's, uh, it's going to take the uh, strain on the um, earth lead first rather than on the connections. Well, that's the theory anyway, but oh yeah, no, that's completely, that's dodgy as, look at that, um, no. Uh, anyway, 
Ugh, might have to take the whole back cover off this thing. I've just got it precariously uh, up here, so I'm going to have to pick this thing up and uh, get it against the wall here. So, it's not light, let me tell you. Just move that out a bit further, and there we have it. We should be able to get the back off this thing. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't just take off like a panel for the uh, power supply. You've got to gotta get the whole damn thing off. Unbelievable. There's, thankfully, not too many screws on this thing, but yeah. Because um, <laughs> the thing is, you don't need many screws uh, for a just a sheet metal backing like this, because this takes none of the weight at all. It's just a protective, uh, decorative, safety backing kind of thing. It doesn't, uh, all of the metal, the metal chassis in there is the thing that does the business. I think I got them all. Plus there's a couple of sneakies. All right, I'm gonna see if this thing lifts off. Yeah, that's, that's a good sign. But it's so darn big, unbelievable. Uh, oh, no, bloody missed one. There we go, that was holding that panel on. Hey, there we go. Hey, liking it. Oh, I've got to be ca careful there's no sharp edges on it. Yep, yep, yep. Got it. Got it. We're in like Flynn. Woohoo! Look at the power board. Wow. That's a Bobby Dazzler. Look at that. There you go. That is something. That is uh, quite sizable. Then again, the uh, spec on this thing is like 320 watts or something like that. It is not low power. I see no obvious signs of distress on this thing. Obviously, we've got our mains power here. We've got a fuse, a PCB mount. Uh, I can measure that. Looks like we've got two big diode bridges here. Uh, there's no uh, like blow holes in that or anything. Uh, main filter caps down here. They look and feel intact. Uh, no worries, like there's no burn marks anywhere else, but aha, uh -huh, look at that. That is, I'll show you that, but that's our mains input connection. It's obviously broken off like that, but no wackers. I can just uh, solder that back on, so let me do a few measurements, but this looks, this looks pretty clean. So, is that it? <laughs> oh, I hope so. <laughs> Sorry to anyone who wants to see a repair, and it's just as simple as a like a broken input connection basically I, I i didn't do that it was already loosey-goosey when i got to it so uh, check this out i can just hang my meter there <laughs> isn't that great <laughs> anyway um let's let's measure the fuse fuse is intact look at that so yeah um well let's measure the mains input here and you expect you know k's or megs yeah, something like that, 5 meg, you know. But yeah, it's not shorted. That's the main thing. So, um, that, that is good. And our MOV there is open. And if you just want to look at the other boards, here's our T-Con uh, board. Because, well, it's shaped like a T because it comes in here and it goes out like that. Anyway, um, yeah, it's typically called a uh, T-Con board, a T-connection board. So, that looks in good nick. But often, you know, you might get a failure on the uh, T-Con board and all the ribbon cables that are often connected to these things. But that looks pretty groovy. No worries there. And there's the main processor board. It's, uh, you know, it's going to be standard uh, on like all of the uh, model, like, because this comes in different models from like, I think, you know, 50, 45 inch or something, right up to the 85 jobby that we've got here. And it's going to be the same control board. It's just the physical size of the panel that's going to differ. So anyway, um, it all looks rather promising. So hopefully it's just the mains input and it's not the cable. So anyway, I'm going to try and power that up. But like I showed before, that is definitely an Ernie Bernie mark there on the connection. And um, yeah, not sure what to make of that. Um, and it's like physically got a break on there as well. So, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, mm. 
Who is Heesung Electronics Co. Limited? Made in China. Alright, let's give this a bit of a touch up here. That should do it on that pin. There we go, we're good to go. I still don't like that design at all. It just, it just normally flaps around in the breeze. Like there's no extra pins to hold it down or anything. Really don't like that design. And also, given that there's no pins left in these, and they're the retaining things in there, um, like, whoever tossed this has, like, just maybe ripped them out, and that's maybe why that tore off there, but anyway, I'm still, still worried about the Ernie Bernie mark. Alright, let's get the old death lead, and, uh, can shove it up the clacker here. Yes, I haven't plugged it in. Look, safety first. Alright, so let's plug it in and see what happens. Got energy meter over here, so we'll be able to uh, see if it draws anything in standby. So let's go. And 1.3 watts. Whoa! We got we got backlight. We got backlight. Wow. Uh, 220 watts. It's working. It's doing something. Um. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> It's hard to see, but it's 220 watts. Now I wish I had uh, uh, done the wires a bit better. Maybe some, maybe just soldered them on or something. But uh, yeah, okay. So the power supply's working. Wow, hang on, let me have a look at the screen. I have to stick my head around the back. There's something. I can see, oh no! No! Oh, the humanity! It's cracked! The screen is cracked! Ah, oh, Bloody Murphy! Don't know if you can see that, but there you go. There's the telltale sign of the cracked screen. Look at that. Look at that. I think I see an impact point further up. I'm not sure you're seeing that on camera there, but damn! Ah, oh, come on! Ah, oh, it's, yeah, it's basically worthless now. <laughs> So yeah, unfortunately, it's basically worthless now. Um, <laughs> I can scrap it for the power supply. Oh, you know, I see if it actually powers on and, um, and displays the image. If so, I don't know, maybe, I don't know how much is the board. You know, you can part it out, um, maybe, for repairs. But no, nah, once the screen's gone, I mean, that's the, whole, that's the whole point. I mean, everything else would have been fixable. If it was the power supply, if it was a T-Con board, you can get replacements. If it was the processor board, you can get replacements. Or you could repair them. Depends what the fault is. But, um, yeah. Ah, oh, bugger. Well, sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't. So that's why they obviously tossed it. Because, well, somebody uh, threw something at the screen. And then there was no visible impact. But it was enough to blunt force impact the thing. And, uh, yeah. Well, that's a bummer. There you go. I thought I scored myself an 80 six inch LCD, but nope, wah, 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 ah, bloody Murphy, ah, oh, well, you can't win them all, catch you next time.